And I was in a dream and I'm remembering in my dream that I was a person in Texas with allergies and teenagers. I'm remembering that I wake up in a room that's a crazy room with younger children, no glasses and no allergies. And I'm in this room and I'm in a party. There's, it's a party. It's a party. And there's a lot of people and they're all talking and some people are saying hi. And I'm like, and they're like, you know, come on, join the party. I'm like, I don't want to join the party. I want to wake up. I want to know what's going on. And then I start thinking, am I going to wake up in this world? Or am I going to wake up in this world? And I wanted to wake up in this world. Of course, this one was just, you know, and, and I kind of hang out at the party until I wake up. I'm back in Texas. Um, but guess what happens, Daniel? I don't have allergies anymore. I love it. I know I this Bob's just even saying it. Yep. yep. Now I wish part would have gone yep. <laughs> because it didn't. But I could, my allergies just went. Oh, yep. I went I I explore a time in some unexplained way this other version of myself in another completely different reality that seemed every way I knew how to test it seemed physical. Yeah. And somehow I was able to bring the version or the component or the detail, I don't know, or maybe just experiencing it back to my life where I didn't have to have that allergy anymore. Yeah. That's, a story to heal, right? And how did it how did it heal by reading somebody else's story that prompted me to consider their story that my imagination gave to me in a dream of a dream story or an altered experience story, whatever you want to call it. And I woke up with a benefit. That's amazing. That is such a beautiful story.